What kind of dog is that one? Uh, he's a pit bull wire hair terrier. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. He's sweet. Funny. Okay, what is your name? Dakota. Deco Dakota? Yeah. Okay, is it your dog? Yeah. Okay, how old is she? Uh, he's two years old. Alright, so... Uh, he's two. Are you uh, living in a tent? Yeah. Okay, over there? Uh, no, over there, the one with the blue tarps. Tar oh, over there? Who are you living with? Um, my dad and my, uh, well, okay. my friend. How long have you been living here? Um, almost a year. A year? Uh huh. You look very young. 28. 28? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you sure? I thought you were younger than that. <laughs> So what is it like uh, living in a tent? Really wet during the, during the summer year. Everything gets soaking wet. <laughs> uh huh. Everything gets soaking wet, like the rain. Everything gets, gets it's it's kind of hard. <laughs> I know, right? Especially, what is your challenge? What's the challenge? They took rubble. Hmm? They took rubble. What do you mean? So we're gonna go get it. Like, what is the most hardest thing in here? Living in the tent. Um, no, it's the it should cost anything. Probably the weather. Hmm? The weather. Probably. Weather? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And what else? Um, probably not. The, the running water kind of doesn't, it's kind of not all, all that much fun. What about That's people it. here? Do you have a trouble uh, associated with the people here? No. Are not people really. Are really friendly? Yeah, for the most part. Oh, good. So, um, what, uh, what made you to uh, be out here? Do you remember? Yeah, my uh, ex-boyfriend tried to kill me and I, um, I, oh, I, stopped, no. I was able to work on being up there. It was kind of hard dealing with people. <laughs> so you feel safe here? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you guys are supposed to be leaving from here by 6th of uh, March, which is about a week later. Do you have a plan to go? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. Have you been to other places also besides no. here? No, this no? is well, pretty much the only place I've been. Yeah. Do you have a dream? Sometimes, sometimes I'm not so sure. What's your dream? Him, to have him and my cat in actual house so they can actually have you know you know it's like to be treated like the dog cat shit I think my babies the cat's around here somewhere so you uh, you have a dog with you and uh, so how does the the pet uh, having pet helps you um, I have a cat too oh yeah yeah she's running around here somewhere uh huh but I don't know what I did about these guys. They don't want to keep, so, they, they keep know, me going. How do they help you? They keep me going. They give me. Some, oh, yeah. they, they need me, so I need to. They're comforting you. Uh huh. Because there are some, uh, let's say, a lot of uh, shelters. They don't allow you to yeah, have a pet. And yeah. Back. I know there's one in Santa Ana that does, but there's just too many people there for me. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's too many, too big of a crowd of people. I don't do good with crowds of people. Is there anything you want to say? Like, and, you know, the people who have a stereotype about homeless people and want to say something about it, like... Yeah, I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of people make judgments and everything, but you know, they, they don't think about the fact that one thing could happen in their life and they could end up here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you're a bad person, it just means that something happened. So what's your dream like, you know, if you have a chance, uh, what do you want to do in the future? Eat it! Shut I don't up! Know. Hmm? I don't know yet. Man, you're sitting right there! Trying to figure 
you that one out again. I have no idea right now. Kind of. since, since you had that abusive relationship, did you ever treat it for that? Like a seeing counselor or something? No, um, not really. I just kind of been dealing with it on my own and getting better. Every day it's a little better. What, what is your expectation from people out there, you know? I don't have any expectations of people out there. No? It's, it's, you can't, I don't know. They don't, they don't know what it's like out here, so you can't really expect much of them. I mean, there's kind of people out there, but not, you know, I mean, there's, getting, there's a lot of people out there just, you know, real judgmental. Mm-hmm. people that, you know, they, I, I've, I've they take, they take a second to think about like it's just one thing in your life can change and you can end up sitting right here where I'm at. Mm -hmm. It's not, like I said, it's not necessarily something that anyone had to have done to be here, but maybe something that happened on. Because before all that, I, did, I had a house, I had, you know, I had cars, I had my kids and everything else, and one thing happened and nothing's been the same. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, here we go. What's your name? Uh, my name is Roger. Uh, Roger? Uh -huh. uh, how long have you been in, in tent down here? Down here? Um, probably since last September, October uh -huh. of last year, yes. So you, you have moved from up there to down here recently? Well, well I've, yeah, I've moved like three or four times well, since I've been down here. What's your experience about it? Well, a lot of people like to say, oh yeah, I've really hit rock bottom down here. And, and, and my views are, yeah, that's a bunch of BS. Crashed right through rock bottom and landed in the sandy sewer that runs beneath it. So, can't be Did jokes. you get help from people, volunteers? Do I get help from what? For moving. Uh, not really. Uh, my personal situation this on this last time we had to move was, uh, uh, when the storm was there and the storm was uh, really whipping up I went to use the restroom because I've been pretty much all night trying to keep my stuff dry and safe out of the rain in about 15 minutes time I came back the wind had taken rocks like these big rocks mm -hmm. whipped them whipped them right off my uh, Your tent? oh yeah off my uh, tarps so everything to keep it warm oh I'm sorry and pulled the windows open all the tarps off, tarps off and there's like this much water in the bottom of my tent uh -huh. So, and then the very next morning, before I had a chance to even come and look at all the damage, uh -huh. I got taken to jail. I got five months to jail. You what? I got taken to jail. For what? I had failed to appear on a, an outstanding ticket because I lost my paperwork. I didn't know when it was. Oh yeah, by the rain. And it became a, a warrant. So. Right. And then that next morning, uh. I spoke to an officer up at the store, and uh, he discovered I had that warrant, so he took huh? me to jail. I'm sorry. And when I got home, and I was there for a couple of weeks, actually, I had to stay there for two weeks, 15 or 15 days, uh -huh. and I got back yesterday morning. Uh -huh. My tent's gone, everything is gone. I found out my brother had a lot of it, and another friend had some of it, and she lent my tent to someone else. And that's okay. If he's someone else, back? huh? He's getting back later. Uh, well, no. Like I said, this is just yesterday. I found all this out. Oh. And so I haven't been too worried about that. I, I have a place I can stay right at the moment. If someone else is still in need, I need oh. to go talk to my friend though and see if you know. It's like you're like angry about it. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I don't know. I getting angry just it takes a whole lot of energy and accomplishes nothing. You know. That's smart. And it's so true. In a way, you're being positive, huh? In your position. Well, yeah, like, like the Bible said, you know, you, have, you must turn the other cheek. Uh, okay. 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 How oh. many times am I gonna keep doing this? Okay. <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. That's an interesting way. Yeah. Wow. And when I get mad, I, I yell, I cuss, and I have a. Uh, that's not a good idea. I have a mild, a mild form of Tourette syndrome. Oh, and sick. and when like if, if if it's a personal attack, someone who knows me is pushing my buttons. Uh -huh. I, 
Yeah, I, I hear my I hear myself saying the worst things ever to these people, and I can't stop it. And I'm I'm apologizing in the meantime. I'm sorry. Just shut up. Stop. Just stop now. No. Nah, okay. And I. And how how do you manage? You know your anger, frustration. You know dealing with a lot of stuff. Being as a homeless. How do I manage it? Yeah. How do you manage <laughs> daily basis? Pretty well, I think, but probably not very well. <laughs> Most people would think, but uh, you know, I don't know. I, uh, I I really don't drink that much anymore. I I used to drink a little bit, you know, but not. Uh, okay. By the way, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, the where do you go for a restroom usually? Well, when I was staying back there at Chapman, I would go. Anywhere I could, you know, the closest place, really, because let's face it, most of the time those things come up pretty quick. Uh, I would go to maybe Jack in the Box or Denny's or, okay. or uh, down that way to Burger King. What about when it rains, like pouring out like the other night? Well, it's like being on a ship at sea. You, you just got to stand there and take You got to keep your stuff as secure and dry as you can or just make a run for it, take everything and move it up under a bridge or yeah. somewhere to That's drive in. That's very tough to uh, yeah, huh? make it happen uh, oh, because, I know. Of, because of distance and the weather. Yeah. Uh, by the way, what is the most thing you need um, being out here? What I need most out here? Uh, a very nice lady like you to uh, come down and stay with me. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thank you. No, I know no. you have a lot of volunteers. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and believe me, every single one of you guys is greatly appreciated. If it weren't for you guys, we would have nothing to be starving. Yeah, you know, that, that is that is showing that God cares about you, God loves you, and He's still there. You know? know, no uh, matter how bad circumstances you are surrounded, but there's always hope. So don't give up. Okay, thank you for the interview. Uh huh. Thank you. My name is Gary. Uh, my daughter and I come here. Uh, as often as we can, uh, we try to deliver either bag lunches or uh, bags of groceries. Uh, everybody deserves to be treated uh, with kindness and humanity. And sometimes these people are overlooked or undertreated, and it's not right. We do what we can. If everybody did what they can, the world would be a better place. Mm -hmm. What made me decide to do this mm -hmm. uh, is just that, you know, I, I have, you know, the, I, I get donations from uh, food banks and stuff uh, to help make the lunches. We get donations from food banks to do it, but a lot of people can't get to the uh, food banks or the places they're giving out food. So we try and uh, distribute it to the people that don't have the ability to get there because they're going to be just as hungry as everybody else. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of, uh, you know, the homeless people here being treated? They be moved, you know. Uh, I I think they were very rudely moved from the other side. I'm glad they were able to set up over here. I do not feel that they were treated kindly as they were moved. It may have been necessary for them to move, uh, but to offer to take them to shelters that were already full didn't accomplish anything, and to uh, kind of destroy some of their stuff I think was very unkind, very lacking a lot of humanity. Anything else you want to say? No, just uh, you know, ev everybody go through your cupboards. The odds are you've got multiple bags of groceries that you could drop off over to here to people that need them. It's just going to go bad in your cupboard. Uh, help out when you can. When you see somebody, treat them with kindness. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's treating with kindness. Do what you can. Be kind to your fellow man. Uh, I'm off to try and do more. Thank you. Mm -hmm.